as I mentioned, I'm diabetic. And um, one thing that, that I noticed in my dad, before he knew he was diabetic, um, he had come home from the train at night and uh, my sister and I would rub his legs because they hurt, which is one of the problems with diabetics. His feet hurt. And uh, I remember my, my sister Nancy saying once, gee, daddy smells like mommy's nail polish remover, which was acetone, okay? And uh, acetone is one of the three ketone bodies, the other two being beta-hydroxybutyric acid and acetoacetate. So what happens in, in, in diabetes is, you know, the diabetic doesn't have ample carbohydrate reserves within their cells as glycogen. Um, so they're doing a lot of fatty acid oxidation rather than carbohydrate metabolism. If you take a fatty acid and you break it down to acetyl-CoA, the last step, it's called beta-ketothiolase, backs up, then your two carbons of acetyl-CoA will be four carbons of acetoacetate. And then that acetoacetate, a third acetyl-CoA can add to it to form what's called hydroxymethylglutaryl coenzyme A, okay, HMG-CoA. And then rearrangements can happen that give rise ultimately to the to the three ketone bodies, acetoacetate, beta-hydroxybutyrate, and acetone. Uh, so in situations where of, of starvation, and diabetes is, is basically my cells were in a technical state of starvation. In a case of starvation, what happens is you, you, you're, you get this backup of the lipid breakdown or catabolism pathway, and then these ketone bodies flush out into your blood. In starvation situations, the ketone bodies will act as fuels for your, your, um, your brain and other organs. It's a, it's a difficult transition, but ketone bodies are, um, are in, in the case of diabetics, they're produced to excess um, to such a extent that they're, they're actually quite harmful to you. The reason a person smells of acetone is the intermediate ketone body uh, the acetoacetate basically decarboxylates. It's a beta keto acid, and uh, so it's a spontaneous decomposition to form acetone. Acetone is not, to my knowledge, biochemically useful as a kind of an energy source, but it's a sentinel, or it's something that is um, smelled so that um, it can be diagnostic um, of the disease.